everyone, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is 10 of our favourite kids books. So just sharing a bunch of books that I read to Isla and Lachlan on a nightly basis. Obviously not all 10 of them every night, but yeah, just a bunch of books that I love, that the kids love, books that we read again and again and again. I found when I first had Isla, there's just so many books out there. It was hard to pinpoint like the nicest stories. And obviously you just stumble across some really lovely ones sometimes, but it's also lovely to get recommendations. So I thought I'd do this video and just share 10 of our favorites and if you guys like it let me know and I'll carry on because we have so many books that we can share with you and like I said not baby not toddler not older kids just what I read to my almost five-year-old and my two-year-old it's not paid there's no ad there's no nothing I will pop links to the books that I can find below and there'll probably be Amazon affiliate links just for like disclaimer but not paid, not sponsored, not anything else. So yeah, let's go have a look. First up is Elver. I love this story. It's all about a patchwork elephant who feels like he needs to fit in and be normal elephant colour and it's just a lovely story. And there's some really funny bits. There's bits that we just laugh at every single time and Isla repeats it. It's um, where it goes, oh my gosh, and oh my golly. And she finds that absolutely hilarious and she loves it when um, all the elephants fall over laughing as well. We laugh at that pretty much every time we read this book. Uh, illustrations are really nice as well, nice and colourful, so yeah. Elmer is our first favourite book. Next up is a book that I'd never heard of, but apparently it's one that a lot of people remember from way back in the day when we were kids as well, but um, the kids' auntie and uncle got it for them. It's Suddenly by, I just realised I'm not saying the authors. So this is a story all about, um, oh what's his name again, Preston, Preston the pig, and he's um, running away from a wolf. And as you can see, it is a very, or I don't know if you can see on camera, a very well-loved book. It's been on holiday with us, so it's, you know, when books get wet and then they dry out. He's a little bit crispy. And yeah, it's a really funny story. Ro this is Robert's story more than my story for the kids. He does all, like, little, like, additional things. Like, he does, like, Preston's voice, and then at the end he adds a bit in. And yeah, it's, oh, there you go. Now you can see uh, the condition of our book. But it is a really fun story that the kids love. Next up is Sharing a Shell. It's, oh my goodness, I love this story. I love a good friendship story. And it's all about these three little friends here who don't have anywhere to live. The crab loses his shell originally. Then they go around trying to find places to live and they find a shell and then they all move in and then the shell's too small so they all fall out and then uh, they all get back together in an even bigger shell and it's really lovely. What's nice as well about these books is that they've got like textures, things like glitter, lots of lovely colours and illustrations that crack me up and yeah it's just a really really nice book and nice story and especially the illustrations. It's um, Julia Donaldson so it's a huge big series of what the ladybird heard and all that sort of stuff. We have loads of these but this is my ultimate favourite. So Harry McClary, this is a big kids book that lots and lots of people know about. This one's actually Harry McClary's Scattercat. I think there's a lot of Harry McClary books. Usually at the back as well. Isla loves it when she sees at the back that there's other books in a range. She's like, oh, I get this one for my birthday and this one for my Christmas. And yeah, she loves seeing what other books are related to books that she likes. But this one came from Granny, I think. She introduced us to the Harry McClary stories and I love a rhyming story. I'm all about a rhyming story, so really like these. And I'm a cat person as well, so love the fact it's all about cats as well as Mr. Harry McClary. But yeah, lovely story. Again, there's like funny bits that we always laugh at every time and really cute illustrations too. The next story, The Bumble Bear, actually came from Isla's school. They all got one, well in her class, they all got one when they started. And it's a story about a bear who wants to be a bumblebee and he disguises himself as a bumblebee, but then he gets caught out. And yeah, again, I keep feel like I'm saying, oh, lovely story, nice story, but they are all lovely and nice. And this one's got really funny illustrations as well and like big words, especially because Isla's starting to read. She enjoys books that have bold words or bigger words that she can try and sound out as well. So it's nice for her to do her school reading books, but then have a book like this where she can pick out words like bear or no or things like that. So. Yep, really like this book too. This book came from Auntie Jess, obviously not real Auntie, friend Jess, who's Lachlan's godmother. And yeah, it's called The Giant Jumper Bee. And it's a story about all these animals who keep going up to this little, is it cave? That's the worst memory in the world. Or like a little burrow, no sorry, rabbit's burrow. And um, yeah, they keep going up and wanting to go in. All the animals are trying to help rabbit get into his burrow. And there's this noise, this big character from inside the burrow who keeps shouting, I'm the giant jumpery and I'll sting you like a bee and things like that. And it turns out it's a little frog. And yeah, it's a really nice story. Nice illustration as well. And that's another Julia Donaldson one actually. And Helen Oxenbury, who I've just noticed on the bottom of this book. Obviously I knew she was the author of The Gruffalo. My kids aren't into The Gruffalo 
Buffalo at the moment. They're not, they're not sort of in that zone, but it's also the illustrator of We're Going on a Bear Hunt. We love that book too. Next up is Oi Cat. We had Oi Frog originally, and now we've got Oi Cat. Can't remember where he came from. I think he was a gift. And yeah, because we love cats. I think it's a follow on from the Oi Frog book. And it's rhyming, all about the rhyming. Really, really love it. And also the cat's really funny. He's very angry. So it's just a story that goes all the way through about like crows sitting on bows and dingoes sit on flamingos and lots and lots of rhyming. And then at the end, it has the, the big bit that folds out that the kids love as well. Next up is a little hardback book. I do like hardback books for Lachlan because he likes to have a couple of books in his cot, but he destroys normal books as you'll see in a minute with our ultimate favorite book. So uh, hardback books are good for him. So first one is How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. And it's, this is such a nice story, it really is. And I love the illustrations, they look so nice. And Lacan always goes, Twinkle Star Book, Twinkle Star Book, and he means this one. So he loves this story as well. And it's about like a boy who wants the star to be his friend. And it's so nice. And I have a little heart. Another little hardback book is Me by Emma Dodd and this, I think I popped this in one of the kids' stockings one Christmas and it's good for Lachlan because it's a, more like a baby story but it's also really good for Isla at the moment because again, reading, she loves to read and figure out words like big and small and she does her ands and eyes and all that sort of stuff. So she really likes this as well even though I guess it's more targeted at babies. Such a cute story about a baby penguin who talks about how big the world is and then it ends with, um, so cute it's like i may be small but i can see the biggest thing to you is me and it makes me really emotional whenever i read it <laughs> and lastly i've saved our ultimate favorite book as you can probably tell from what a state it's in it's ripped it's torn at the back we're missing a page there and this book is Oh, I love it so much. I feel like it's one of these books that even when I'm like 80 years old, I'll know every single word to. I know it off by heart and I love it. I look on it in a party bag when she was like one or two years old. Probably one actually, she must have been one. And oh my goodness, it's such a nice story. It's called Bouncy Bouncy Bedtime by David Bedford, Russell Julian. And even like, look at the front of it. I just love it. It's so nice. It's a sing songy story all about going to bed. Well, a bunch of animals going to bed. And I literally, like I said, I know every word to it. Literally every word. And there's bits, it's funny, like with Isla, it was all about the, um, where is it? Let me find it. This bit where it says, honey growlers, hurry, hurry up the mountain stairs. Big claws leap out and she'd go, roar. And we're laughing. It's another section that he's picked up on. He loves smiley snappers, swish and snip. And he goes, oh, baby snappers, baby snappers, snap, snap, snap. So it's a really good story for younger kids where they can just pick up on the animals they like. He also laughs and loves this monkey. He's like, oh, monkey scared, even though the monkey's not scared, but it's just, oh, it's so lovely. I do like different voices for different pages and things. And I like to think it encourages them to go to bed. It's all about falling asleep and the end bit goes, um, and now it's time for hush. Hush in the big bouncy bed in the sky. And I'm like, right, let's go to sleep now. So yeah, that's our ultimate favorite book there. So really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite books are because we are always on the lookout for lots of lovely books to add to our collection. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.